Hi, I'm Rob Arnold with Pioneer Ag Equipment. Together with Kenco Manufacturing, we are producing the first low volume air blast sprayer of its type. coverage all over the leaves, both sides, front and back. Um, it's just, it's, it's everywhere. Inside, outside, just full coverage. And this is at four miles an hour. Back in 2008, I introduced the first fogger designed for citrus. Uh, at that time I realized how important the nozzles were and how good of a job they did with atomization of liquid. Um, that is what led me to create the first air blast low volume sprayer of its type. The sprayer it has two parts to it. It has the compressed air nozzles these are my patented air shear nozzles. Um, they're a solid stainless steel nozzle. Uh, very difficult to clog. They are, the, the compressed air is provided by a roots blower located, it's a belt driven roots blower located to the front of the components here. Um, the second part of the machine is the two sided 21 inch squirrel cage fan. It's a super high volume fan. This air that's produced by the fan is split by our unique angel wing design. You can see here with the angel wing, it's a smooth radius which provides for a laminar type flow of the air. It creates a smooth air wall, super high velocity and high volume. The machine does not deadhead like most conventional air blast sprayers that send the, through, through an axial fan that, that send the air into a wall. Instead, the smooth radius actually accelerates the air, uh, providing a higher velocity. Back to the nozzles. The nozzles are are able to run at an air pressure from three to six. That's, that's their designed operation range. They perform best between four and five. Uh, and this regulates your droplet size along with the volume of water that you're putting out. Uh, those are the two variables to provide the, the, the droplets that you, that you want. If you want a larger droplet, you can simply go to a higher water volume or you can simply you can keep your water volume the same and drop your air pressure and that will provide a larger droplet. However, the nozzles are designed to atomize anywhere between 70 and 200 microns. Uh, they dial into a very precise 30 micron range. So if you have a, a 100 micron 
uh, median, that means you're going to have anywhere from, from 85 to 115 micron would be your range at the higher pressure. The sprayer is designed to put out a volume of 20 gallons per acre up to 100 gallons per acre if someone really wanted to soak a tree down. Um, it's not necessary to run that high. Between 20 and 50 gallons per acre is optimum. I actually like 20 for oranges, uh, 40 for grapefruit. Um, what this would equate to essentially is 20 gallons out of the sprayer would, it, it gives you better coverage than 100 gallons out of a conventional axial flow sprayer. Um, so when you go from 20 to 40, 40 is more like a 200 gallon out of a conventional sprayer. Um, in addition to the, the benefits of low volume uh, and, and saving on water and fill time, the machine is also designed to run at much higher speeds, at speeds up to four miles an hour instead of one and a half or one to two miles per hour with a conventional sprayer. This machine's made to run at a consistent four miles per hour. We're getting a uh, hundred acres per day easily with this machine instead of a 40 on a good day with a conventional sprayer. So it, it's, a, it's a big money saver. Okay, here I have some marked trees with red tape. Uh, note these trees have not been sprayed. We're about to come and spray these trees with a, a leaf check fluorescent dye. And note there is no fluorescent anywhere around uh, any of these trees. Here we are again at the same tree that we showed the first time, except now it's been sprayed by both, sprayed on both sides. And now you can see just that much more coverage all over both sides of the leaves. They're just, they're completely covered. With using five times less water, your you, you can often save on uh, materials, on, on certain pesticides, uh, contact pesticides primarily, you can use less of. Um, your other materials tend to have greater efficacy due to the increased uh, concentration. Keep in mind that the rate here is, again, 20 gallons per acre at 4 miles an hour at travel speed. <laughs> 